right, guys. Here we go. We got uh, we got David uh, sticking to his guns with uh, Yoshi. And I had to play Toad against you. <laughs> you just jump on that Yoshi quick. Yeah, I saw that he really likes using Yoshi, so I figured I would take Yoshi from him. It felt good. He was very frustrated. I don't know if the camera caught that. <laughs> but he was, he was not happy at the fact that I took Yoshi from him. Man, you you gotta get an angle on that jump. Oh yeah, absolutely. You cannot. I was just talking about that earlier. You can't go into that 90 degrees with the, the track. Like you don't want to be perpendicular with the track. Generally, I don't like being perpendicular with anything. Not even the ground. Not even the ground. Not a not a big stander. No. <laughs> uh, gravity, gravity actually uh, pushes me uh, to the side, more of a 45 degree angle, if you will. You uh, you lean with it and rock with it. With my skirt. That's the worst when the boat is crossing. And Guapo trying to make an adjustment there to not get screwed over by the banana, but it's just too late. I don't know. I don't know if uh, David can pull this off. Yeah, I'm not really seeing it. Guapo's, uh, I mean, he's, he's racing pretty consistent. But, uh, you know, I may have spoken too soon. Uh, David climbing the ranks here to fifth. You know he is what? Uh, still a good gap back though. This course remade for uh, Mario Kart 8, in my opinion, is a lot better. Uh, there are a lot of mechanics in this course that are very frustrating and uh, depend too much on luck. Uh, you, even even if you can get the right angle on that one jump that we were talking about earlier, uh, it's still very tricky. Right here, it's still very tricky to be able to nail it. Oh, that's the worst. You, you're almost always going to end up on the grass in some way or another. Yeah, especially at 150cc. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, we got uh, Guapo launching the blue shell here. He's only one place ahead of uh, David now, so. Star on the course. Oh man, that was close. That was very close. And uh, it was actually really close to us having to do that race over again as well. Yeah, true. So uh, Guapo getting on the board. <laughs> A single point. And <laughs> David not. And point. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, these competitors got some fierce looks on their faces. This uh, this might end in a knife fight. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It won't. You can bring your kids here, guys, to South Texas Comic Con. We will not allow a knife fight to happen. <laughs> I will. I will stop fish. I will stop him. Like I will that become. Man. I'll become fish. <laughs> and do my own knife fight. I'll catch him with a net. <laughs> this is a good matchup, and I mean, you can only expect that from losers' semis. We're down to uh, only the last four contestants, so. Right, right. We have eliminated uh, oh my the God, weaklings. That egg. Not that you're a weakling. Oh, my God. No, that's just sometimes, you know, luck is not on your side. Yeah, man, especially with this game. It's, uh, it's very RNG-based. <laughs> RNG. I don't get it. Uh, yeah. 
what, what logic compels you to ask the guys with a mic and uh, you know headphones on? I've done a lot of events like this, but that's that it's never happened to me. Yeah, and yeah, it's happened definitely. like four times in the past two hours. Absolutely, at least at least three times in the last two hours, if not more. <laughs> Let's get an Evo and uh, do that. <laughs> now, let's see how they feel. as a toadstool. Oh, yeah. So, uh, when you hear the, the screeching tires, you you gotta stop swerving left and right. Absolutely. That's, uh, that's a bad thing. I really want to know where they got these carts. I'd like to be able to go this fast on the go cart. Yeah. And drift. They're probably pretty efficient vehicles. Yeah. So, uh, Guapo is uh, about to finish the race, and so is Fish. Man, he's going to cut across, try to. Oh. All right. Oh, They finished man. first and second. That was something. Uh, so what what happened to the positions? Why do we have question marks and? Uh... Uh, I, I was talking about this earlier. On on this stage, uh, the course is laid out in such a way that it's almost a maze. So they don't give you placings. Gotcha. So it's pretty much just time based. Right. And the only way that you can really tell who's in the lead is is if someone is a lap behind or something. Ah, gotcha. Or there there are like. The beginning and the end of the course are linear, okay. but the middle, the whole middle is just it's all over the place. Oh wow! So uh, David got a star, uh, went into first, and Guapo launched lightning. But uh, since David had the star, it didn't affect him. Yeah, got a lucky break, honestly. So uh, first and second. I will admit, this map is uh, a nuisance, to say the least. Uh, my least favorite. I don't know. I'd have to say Rainbow Road might be my least favorite. Oh, man. I love Rainbow Road. The music's just too good. Yeah. That's the only reason I'll play it. It's like, I know I'm going to lose, but I love Rainbow Road. The music is just too good. There's some, uh, there's some pretty good remixes out there at Rainbow Road. We should work on a remix. I'll remix uh, something with you. I'd really, really like to remix uh, something off of Breath of the Wild. That would be interesting, but most most of the pieces are minimalist. So oh, really? Uh, yeah, there's just there's not a lot to them. Like the most engaging piece, that's like more complex from a composition standpoint is uh, Hyrule Castle. Everything else is like uh, they're actually simplified melodies from the from the past of wow. the series. Like you can you can if you if you know anything about theory there you you'll recognize themes kind of peppered throughout uh, the main themes of Breath of the Wild. <laughs> we could uh, we could remix a Macross track. I I didn't even get a chance to hear that, but you're so stoked about it, it must be good. Yeah, I, I genuinely enjoyed it very much. I was talking to you about this earlier, but uh, Stream got to hear about it too. I'm always impressed with uh, like older soundtracks for games because uh, you know with sound cards that were built into the systems most of the time. And uh, it's just it's hard when you're when you're working with such limited tools. Yeah, absolutely. Like uh, I, I'm so impressed by like say Donkey Kong's soundtrack. 
Oh, absolutely. Donkey Kong, it looks like we're going to have to redo this race. Donkey Kong Country 1, 2, and 3 have some of the best music, like some of the best video game music yes, I've ever heard. completely agree. So, let's see the look of frustration on both these players' faces. <laughs> They're happy. Uh, David pulling his pants up. It's, uh, it's always good to pull your, your pants up. It's always... Pull your pants up, pull your, pull your pants up. If the ladies catch you sagging, you best not look at them wagging. That just goes to show how frustrating this course can be. Both oh, of these man. players finish first and second on their last two races, and they, they can't finish fourth or better. And they fell off the track at the same time. I don't blame them. This track looks Jeez, so bad. Man. I agree. What's up? I'm really glad that OBS added this. It, it didn't used to have it. It tells you how long your recording is now. Very nice. It's just stars galore. These guys, uh, their their numbers are very high, and not the numbers that they want. Oh, jeez, man. So right now, uh, Guapo has an insane lead on David. <laughs> yes. I was going to comment on how far ahead of the pack he was, but uh, Luigi was actually getting pretty close to him. Now he's fallen back behind. There's a massive gap between David and Guapo. Guapo looks like he's just racing this way more carefully this time. I can respect that. And it uh, looks like he, Guapo's going to finish second. And uh, Fish might be eliminated here. Second place finish and a sixth place finish. Oh yeah, he's not catching up. Yeah, it's not possible. Or is it? Why? Oh, okay. I guess it is. No. Oh, they called it. Okay. Yeah, Wapa wins. All right, so uh, Guapo takes that, and well, he's walking away. He's in losers' finals. Somebody get that Minsk back over here. 